Hey Sagittarius, it is me, Alex. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I just recorded a reading for you guys and that reading was so muggly. I was like, there is no way under God's green, God's beautiful sun that I was posting that reading. Anyway, let's, let's see what this one is about. Ace of Wands, yay, exciting new beginning. Sun, much better. New beginning and happiness. Eight of Wands, yes, keep going. King of Swords, decisions. Oh, justice. See what I'm saying? You know what? God, you are so good because this card, this card, and this card came out in your previous reading. And Ace of Pentacles. This card, this card, this card, and this card came out in your previous reading. So I feel like there's some new excitement, new joy, new passion. Um, a legal case may be settled fairly where Ace of Pentacles, you may receive some sort of payout or compensation. I feel like you could be dealing with an Aquarius who does not want to pay you, uh, Sagittarius. But guess what? There's going to be a decision made. Give Sagittarius their coins. Mm -hmm. um, angels are also saying too, it's coming in hot, right? The Eight of Wands is you're about to see forward movement, forward progress um, with this legal decision. That King of Swords is intellectual, very blunt, but very unfeeling. So somebody was being really cold in this situation. Three of Wands and Ace of Wands. I feel like whatever this decision is, when it comes in, it's almost going to feel like you could start your life over again, or you can continue something, right? Because I feel like with whatever this decision was or whatever you're battling or, you know, going to court for Sagittarius, it, it kind of stopped you in your tracks, especially when it comes to living your life. I have the sun and the moon, yay and yay. Angels are saying whatever is done in the dark will come to light. This King of Swords, right? And Aquarius card. Ugh, I just don't like it. I don't like their energy. Because I feel like this person can try to outsmart you, tried to hide stuff from you. They could have tried to hide money from you. But they was a fool because it still came out. You got the Knight of Wands. You're receiving quick justice here, um, Sagittarius. You got the two of sword. You don't see it coming. A lot of you guys, by the way, you don't think you're going to win this lawsuit, this case, this, um, this, um, grievance or whatever it is, but you are, you just don't see it coming. Not only that, but you may receive your award or reward in February. I really do feel like somebody was being really deceitful here, Sag. They thought you were stupid. You know, I don't think you're stupid, but your person did, right? And angels are saying this person was hiding stuff from you in your face. So it kind of feels like they were doing something right up, right up under your under your nose, as they say. And they they did not think you would find out. This is going to be good news. Yeah, angels are saying continuation. I have the Wheel of Fortune here and the Eight of Wands. Things that you're about to start seeing signs and symbols that this situation, court case, or what have you, is about to end in your favor. You have the sun here with the moon. You are going to be happy. You are going to have a brand new beginning. You're going to get, continue to continue, you know, you're going to be able to continue on with your life and happiness. Karma is going to be restored and you will receive a financial payout. Thinking, thinking, self-evaluating. Uh, angels are saying you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's coming. It's within uh, January and March of this year, 2023. And there's the light at the end of the tunnel right there with the sun card. Right now, it's dark, you're moody, you're scared, you are you don't know what's going to happen. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Yeah, this is some sort of um, contractual ending between, you know, two people, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. 
uh, realistically, it looks like a divorce. And I, ref I feel like your divorce is going to be final between the, the uh, January and March. Some of you guys might have recently, like literally, just split up from your person. And you feel like either you're not going to get spousal support or the court's going to make you a whole, pay a whole heap of child support or they're not going to be able to buy you out of your house, but they will. You have a positive outcome to this situation. Look at that. The star, the wheel of fortune, and the eight of wands. Boy, that's good news. Three times. What you wish for and wanted, the universe is bringing to you quick, fast, and in a hurry. Let me tell you something, Sagittarius. Okay. Pulling that star. I'm getting chills around my cheeks, my chin, and my ears. Okay. You have a victory coming your way. And again, you don't see it right now. Within the next two months of this reading or in February, right, you are going to see this quote unquote payout. Right now, a lot of you guys are carrying a heavy load. Um, angels are also saying too, this was a really, really, really tough fight, but stick with it, right? Angels are also saying too, with the ten, with the queen of swords here, don't let nobody come in and dim your light, Sagittarius. Oh no. Oh no. You're in denial about the money. Yeah. Cause you can't see it. You can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Knight of Wands, you are stuck. You didn't know what, yeah, whatever this was, you couldn't move. You couldn't do anything. Angels are saying for some of you guys, as an example, like if it was a bankruptcy case and your funds were frozen, well, we's about to unfreeze because this the ice queen and there's the sun. So your assets or whatever are about to be unfrozen. Um, Sag, boy, I love this placement right here. And with the Ace of Pentacles and a, ju and a Justice card sitting right there. <sighs> yeah, whoever you were dealing with, they tried to play on your emotions to play you for a fool. Well, Sagittarius whipped out their sword too. It's almost like if you got a sword, Charles, so do I. <laughs> right? It was like you fought fire with fire. Communicate clearly. Angel saying battle of words. I don't know what that means to you. Take action. Don't give up. Keep fighting. No. Angels, I just heard somebody say, I don't have to do anything else right now. I'm just waiting. Uh, what is today? Today is the 10th. Angels are saying possibly on the 11th or by the 1st of February, you will have a decision made in your favor, Sag improving health that's my mental health card you're ready whatever this was it was just a tough freaking fight i could tell you that i had the king of swords and the queen of swords i feel like yeah there was a, a dissolving of a marriage here you guys had to split up assets your person uh, waiting to exhale is coming to me where you know bernadine's husband had all this property and all this money all over the place and she ain't know nothing until her lawyer started digging it up and finding it out. And again, you got the Ace of Pentacles there with the Two of Swords. Somebody's, somebody's money and property and assets about to be dug up. Yeah, angels are saying your person doesn't want you to know. And with the Moon card here, absolutely, yeah, they are hiding stuff. But they can't get over on you, um, Sag. They can't, you know, the ice queen, the queen of swords, she's also intuitive, right? So, you know, you got the ice queen here, the queen of swords with the hermit. I mean, listen, even if, if you weren't using your intuition, it's almost like with these tarot readings or synchronicities or God in the universe, God, you know, we brought that message to you. It's like somebody's getting this message to Sagittarius to let them know, fight fire with fire. Don't let this person play them for a fool. A fool, fight for what they want. Your time in the sun is coming, what I just heard. And I feel like you're gonna be able to move on soon, whatever that means. We have a two here, a two here. 
Mm -hmm. Good, good, good times and justice is on its way for you, Sagittarius. I don't know what this is. Like I said, I have the justice here and I have a couple here. So it looks like some sort of, you know, separation or split. And you're hoping, wishing and praying that number one, it happens quickly. And number two, things go in your favor. I mean, we would all wish for that, right? Went, right? But right now you can't see it. But the nine of pentacles, that's an abundance. Not only that, but one plus nine is 10. 10 of pentacles is long-term abundance. Um, big financial payouts, right? Insurance, lump sums. Um, yeah, lump sums of money being paid out to you or possibly paid out to your children in the form of an inheritance, right? Not only that, but I'm also hearing with the king of swords and queen of swords, this could also be brother, si sister, right? Sibling, um, you guys could be fighting over inheritances or your families or your um, parents' trust or something of that nature. But there is definitely a legal battle battle here and Sagittarius, based on what I'm looking like, it looks like, again, within the number two, two weeks, two months, or February, you will have your Ace of Pentacles. All right, my lovelies, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. bye.